my squad ladies and gentlemen boys and girls thank y'all so much for tuning in for another fitted friday episode i appreciate y'all all so much um we've been having quite the run over the last few weeks we've had the designer showcases been going on showcasing hats that have shown design work with the music with the video games you name it they got it and i appreciate y'all so much for tuning into all of these drops mean so much to me uh, matter of fact i got a personal one that is on my head right now by our designer of the week last week kj grin blessing us with this Miriam Brewers hat right here with the 2002 All-Star Game side patch. Big fan, big fan. And I think, if I recall correctly, we got another one back in the studio to unbox. So, I really do appreciate y'all tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, appreciate y'all so much. Let's get the 700 subs. We are right there. So close to it. So close to it. So hit the like button, comment if you want. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all those who identify something in between, this week in Nerd Sub proudly presents Fitted Fridays number 86 with your boy, me, that cool guy, JT Little. Play the theme music now. Well, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back inside of the studio and we got us another exciting installment of our designer showcase for Fitted Fridays. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Glad to have y'all. And I really hope that you've been enjoying all of these dope fire fitteds that we've been seeing over the last month and some change now. And I got one more for y'all. This one is actually a throwback vibe. And I feel like it needs a little bit of a little explanation here. This fitted that I have right here, coming to you from the good folks over at Lids HD, is a product of the one, the only, Manolo Prado, ladies and gentlemen. He designed probably one of the best collections I saw all of last year. And I think it is now time for it to get its due. So let us see what we got up in this fitted box here from Lids HD, y'all. And of course, I do hope that y'all leave in the comments how you be feeling about this hat. Let me just, ooh, a little tough to get open here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna crack this bad boy open, see what we got up inside here. And ladies and gentlemen, ooh, this is looking like a real winner here from, from Lids HD and from Manolo Prado, we got us. Uh, ooh, we got us this fire Houston Astros logo right here. Oh my gosh, with the 1968 All Star Game side patch, a beauty. Oh my gosh, I think I think this is one of my favorite Houston Astro logos. I'm I'm not kidding you. This is freaking brilliant. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, we got the, oh my gosh, look at this, the all white MLB Batterman logo. Wow, we are living dangerous here, folks. Of course, we got us the uh, Tonal New Era logo here, the blue button to go along with our blue visor. Flip it on over, and this is the standout right here, the classic Manolo Prado muddy UV right here. Oh my gosh, this is looking freaking brilliant, man. Oh my gosh. Black sweatband, as it always should be, 100% polyester, and this hat is made in Bangladesh. Oh, wow. Well, I think it's only appropriate since you got the muddy UV. You have to have the Muddy Scripts, and that's what this is. This is the Muddy Script Collection. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the biggest collections that dropped all of last year. Uh, I think it was split into two parts, if I recall correctly. One week was the American League team, as you can see here, the Houston Astros. And I believe the following week, or maybe a few weeks later, was the National League teams. Uh, and oh man, there were so many that I wanted. If y'all hit from this collection, please let me know which one y'all popped. Um, I definitely wanted that Giants because that Giants had a side patch that you just don't see very often. Oh my God, it was freaking amazing. Anyway though, but look at this man, this Houston Astros, I believe that this is the jersey logo that they wore from the 1965 to 1970 seasons. Makes sense considering we got us a 68 all-star patch with the Astrodome right here, looking pretty brilliant. And I gotta say this, I, I definitely believe that this collection needed, I don't know how much praise it got, but I, I think it deserved a lot more than it did because this collection was whew, an absolute 
banger right here. If my wallet allowed it, I would have copped a lot more. But this, I had to have this one. I had to have this one. Mm, 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 mm. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Once again, 68 All-Star Game side patch for y'all All-Star Game collectors like myself. Uh, we got us the all-white MLB Batman logo right here. Or is it off-white? Might be off-white. Now nah, I'm going to go with all-white, all-white. Tono New Era logo right there. Blue button, blue visor. Muddy UV, beautiful, beautiful, black guts as it always should be. 738 is my preferred size, and this hat is made in the Bangladesh. Very awesome. Definitely glad to have the Muddy Scripts in my possession. Beautiful, beautiful crown right here. It was definitely a nominee for this week in Nerd Stuff 2023 Fitted of the Year Awards. Collection of the Year Award nominee. Oof. Freaking awesome, freaking awesome. I'm a little upset though that I did not get the blip to go with this. I think if you go and check out um, uh, Manolo's uh, IG, he has a link for some blips, pins. You might be able to cop some still, if they are still there. But yeah, gotta show love where love is due. And this has been awesome. I think this is probably one of the best, uh, I think this is one of the best Astro logos you can find. And because they got a bunch of logos. But yeah, definitely shouting that out. Leave your thoughts in the comments. How you be feeling about this hat? How you felt about this collection? How y'all felt about all of the designers over the last month and some change? Let me know. And of course, be so kind. Follow me on the socials, IG, and if the government still allows it, maybe TikTok, at This Week Nerd Stuff for all the daily posts, highlights, and pack openings. Definitely going to be doing some more um, vintage drops as the weeks goes on. Probably a little bit more fall related, but hey, if we got some more designer showcases to show y'all, we might be doing this again real soon. And of course, TCG YouTube Shorts every Monday, Tuesday, or whenever they get uploaded. It is the best minute of pulls on YouTube, hopefully. And of course, a brand new This Week in Nerd Stuff is coming up. Who knows what it's going to be? It could be Yu-Gi-Oh! could be Magic. It could be Funko. could be Pokemans. I don't know. Only one way to find out, so stay tuned. And until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, please, fake audience in the studio, cue that applause.